Hello everybody, we're back with Vampire the Masquerade. So in the last part we finished that uh, sarcophagus quest and in this part we are going to do two things. We are going to yeah, return that quest thing and we're gonna try to find uh, the burning mystical burning sun. Okay. <coughs> So blood level seems fine. Let's go into first person mode. Oh. Yeah, and we have a lot of skill points. Um, 13. So let's see um, where we can spend those. Alright, so we have 13 skill points. Um, social, pers persuasion, seduction. Seems fine. Um, yeah, maybe we should start putting stuff in celerity. We're not using Oz packs that much, which kind of sucks. Uh, because we spent so many points. It kind of bothers me. And I actually want some points in. Um, research but let's put uh, one in celerity let's return the quest see if we get some points and then we can put some more in celerity because I'm using that quite a lot if I uh, selected the right skill because a lot of times I'm using blood buff even though I don't want to why is it locked oh yeah that's the pier okay get it so where was our taxi? Was it Main Street? Probably not. Should we ref refill our blood? Uh, just to make sure. Hey buddy, go your own way. Oh. Fuck you two, gotta turn down the volume a little bit. Too high. Okay, so I guess... Um, I wanna fill up my blood pool. But I don't want to risk losing any more humanity. So we'll have to be a little bit careful with that. Nobody in this alley. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it's still enough to survive a long time, but you know, I just want to mess stuff up. Okay, who cares? Uh, let's go downtown. I'll be in. Uh, sure, why not? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry for the ending of, uh, of the last part. Um, I'm using my mobile phone as a timer to see how long the parts are, or how long I've been recording. And sometimes I get like, like a WhatsApp message or something, and I get really distracted by that because my little clock goes away and I start getting quiet so I don't know if you noticed but um, that was the case on the last part okay so where was that lacroix lacroix well, how do you pronounce that lacroix um report back to the prince yeah I th maybe he was in here hey oh I, I know this might seem creepy at all but please, don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Uh, I almost forgot. I've had a pedipo. I'm not wearing you out or anything, am I? A little bit. Um, okay, maybe we have a chance to get some humanity. Uh, that's hard to do these nights. You look much better, I'm glad. Uh, Only because of you. What you did for me. Here, I I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. It can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Okay, it seems like she's like addicted or something. I don't actually remember who she was. Was that the woman in the hospital we saved? 
I don't remember. Oh, or was she the one um, with that creepy cult? Okay, no. If you stay with me, you'll get hurt. Get out of here now. Uh, oh man, did I make a mistake, Heather? I only did that to save your life. Oh. What the hell? Okay. You don't mean that. I know you need me. Just, just let me stay near you for a little while. And if you still don't want me around, if you tell me to go, I'll go. I promise. Okay, go. Fine. Uh, I don't think so, Heather. Are you listening? Uh, fine, and clean the place up a little with you later, Heather. No, you have to go. I'm not a person you should be around. Maybe I should have asked her to say. Who the hell is that? And who is she calling? Okay, I don't know if this is the right place. No fucking clue. I hope it is. Yeah, it is. It's the Lacroix Tower. All right, where were the elevators? I think they were on the back side of this, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. They're locked. Why can't I? Can't press it. Do I have to talk to the guy? Probably do. Hello, Mr. Oh my god, Mr. Security. Evening, Chief. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? LaCroix is how you pronounce it, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <sighs> told me to send you up as soon as you came in. What? People here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. I wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. Uh, he's... It seems like he's getting fatter and fatter. How's it going, Chunk? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm sure he appreciates that you are here to protect him. See you, Chunk. Okay, Chunks uh, does have a reason in life, which is nice. Okay, thank you for opening. Okay, where do I go? PH. What does PH stand for? Penthouse? I've said all I need to for now. Creepy. Okay, what was that all about? What did I tell you? It's all over the police radio. Do you comprehend the consequences of your actions? This kind of exposure reeks of the supernatural in mortal eyes. Even the Sabbat aren't this careless. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, they got in the way, they did. I explicitly asked you not to harm any of the police officers. <laughs> I'm only going to tell you this once. If you break the masquerade, if we are exposed, Pray that the mortals kill you. For every kindred on this planet will hunt for your blood. I'm losing my patience. What did you see on the ship? Okay, I think I got a little bit in trouble there. <laughs> and the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicate it was opened from within. Open? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering molly couples filing out. Yeah, what was that all about? Those were the primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, a Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I inherit the desert. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into, and have him contact us. Great, another Malkavian. 
Uh, what a waste of time. Certainly is that all. I don't want to piss them off anymore. Yes. Uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. Okay. Should I ask uh, some more questions? Why not? I suppose I can spare a few seconds. You prick. Okay. Some questions about people. Yes. Oh my god. Beckett. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. Okay. Yes. Jack. Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge, the physical manifestation of chaos. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest log. Yes? Okay. The primogen. Primogen. They are the representatives of their clans, though more often than not, they represent their own best interests. They stay close to power, but are too fearful of the consequences to wield it. Nonetheless, I seek their counsel on occasion. With that attitude, you're not going to be prince yes. a long time. It's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930, I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. Okay, what clan are you from? He's probably from that uh, noble clan. I'm Ventru. But I don't disparage any of the other clans. All are equally important in maintaining the foundations of the Camarilla, and the elders of each serve as my council. Uh -huh. Which is... Which is... Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind. I think we heard but this before. You would have woken un um, okay. Goodbye. So, okay, he sends us to Hollywood, but we're not done here, so I don't want to go to Hollywood just yet. Um, sorry about killing all those police officers, by the way. But as I said in the last part, I hate sneaking. Just hate it. Uh, did we get any experience points? Oh, we got 10. Okay, let's put that point in celerity. Alright. Okay, so uh, let's look for the mystical sun again because it has to be here. It has to be in this place. To actually, oh, I need some blood. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Maybe he sells blood packets. The guy here. Let's find out. Say now, brother. Seeing the kind of commando gear you be stocking up. Yeah. Uh. So. Wow! 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 Uh, that's your business. Okay. I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little action, all. All right. Yeah, okay, what if you got a mind? Yo, I need a hardcore, massively bionic, two-fisted yo Jimbo for a super-sized skull. Straight up, hundred million dollar movie gangster. You still with me? You've got my attention, but please get to the point. Yo, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tone and some local boys are meet down at the nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now. I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now how that sound? That sounds pretty nice. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight out Okay, sorry, uh, there was like no subtitle. Um, but let's see, is, is, um, if he has some blood. 
What is that? Cold police positive special? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Rage combat requirement four. Do we need that? No. Do we need some new clothes? Yes, we do actually, but we don't have any money. So, shut up, man! I can't hear my own voice. Let's sell all this shit. Get some monies. That's the lockpick. Oh, we can't buy it yet. Great. Could you stop talking? You could use some of that um, Mag 10 ammo. Why does it say we don't have enough money? Oh, it's probably uh, just telling us that it's subtracting. Okay, let's load up on Mag 10 ammo. I think we're done. Oh god, shut the hell up, man. You're annoying as fuck. Okay. Calling Dr. Grout. Okay, traffic. Fat Larry businessman extraordinaire wants you to acquire a briefcase being exchanged between the Tong and the local gang. The exchange will take place in a nearby parking garage. Get the brief briefcase undetected if possible. Okay, one thing I have to do right now is turn down the volume a little bit because it's giving me headaches right now. All right. So, okay, we have to uh, get some blood. Oh, he looks like he would have some nice blood. <coughs> Sorry, I coughed a little bit. Um, oh God, there's so much to do. Let's see if she has uh, some money for us, because we are owning this club, at least half of it. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Who are you? Hello. I'm with somebody, right? I got your cut right here. 125. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you. Okay, maybe we can get a victim here. I wonder if we can. Let's save the game. Maybe we can just bite someone who's upstairs. Where the fuck are the stairs? There you go. Anybody up here? Any one of those dancers? Oh crap. How do they get out? Hmm. <laughs> the DJ, maybe? <laughs> oh, what is this? Hmm. Weird. Um, where is the DJ? Can we get to him? Can I just see the damn DJ? Okay, he's behind locked doors, which sucks. Need some blood. Didn't I remember somebody in the comments uh, saying something about... Um, there was like a free blood place where you could fill up whenever you wanted to. I'm just gonna do it, why not? Maybe this is the place. Just... Oh yeah, okay. Maybe it's not. That sucks ass. Not okay, let's get out of here. Find somebody else. Largely composed of rebels. Ruja. God, these phones everywhere. Drive me crazy. Okay, we gotta find someone, damn it. It's always the same, you know? Okay, I'm gonna get this guy. Save game. I don't see anybody around. And he sure does have a lot of blood. A lot of good blood. We can fill up all the way. No, we can't. Thank you. 
That was good. So now, um, let's see. Nice. So where is that deal gonna be? It's gonna be behind this place. Could be. Let's see, now they're all coming to get sucked. Oh. oh, look at that. That looks like a mystical sun, doesn't it? It's glowing. All right. Should we check out this place first? Why not? Before we lose it again. Weapons are not allowed, okay. Alright, are sure a lot of doors. <gasps> Let's talk to him. Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Yeah, I got it. I'm assuming you are. Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent. Welcome. Thanks. Uh, what exactly is a chantry? A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Sounds like a fraternity. Cool. And you're a regent? What is that? A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Can you tell me about the mysteries? I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. Okay, okay. What can you tell me, Max? What's going on here downtown? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Okay, I appreciate the advice. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Okay, I solved the epidemic, didn't I? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Okay, is that the same epidemic? Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Okay, interesting you should think th that. I'm already looking at, into it for the Anarchs. Okay. Interesting, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I see. Most disappointing, Neonate. You seem to show a startling lack of concern when choosing your associates in this new life. I pray that their lawless proclivities do not ultimately affect your own standing among your other peers. I'll take it under advisement, Max. A few more questions. What is it you would like to know? What do you know about the anchor and sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. Uh, what do you think is inside of it? I do not know. Although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air. Something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. Like what? I will say no more. Okay, I'm out of here. Or what is it you not? want to know? Of course. <sighs> what is it you would like to know? <laughs> okay, it's the same. So I guess... <coughs> sorry. So I guess... um. 
if we found him earlier, we could have done the epidemic quest with him. But since we stuck with the Anarchs, um, we kind of did it already, or finished it already. Okay, let me out of here. Okay. Whatever. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So what we're we going to do now, we were going to do that gang suitcase thing. Where is that? Okay. Gonna take a little time looking around for that. Sorry, but that's just the way it's gonna be here. Um yeah, I don't really like both of them. I don't like the Anarchs. And I don't like the Camarilla, if you ask me. Both of them are not very appealing. I mean, he, uh, I mean, uh, what's his name? Jack... Nines? Is that his name? Nines? No, Nines Rodriguez. Rodriguez, was it? Um, I think he's pretty cool. But I don't like his, um... His friend. What's on here? You been here? Okay, I think we're in the right place. Oh, look at that. Some ass. Oh, now celerity is actually really cool because you move a lot faster. That's the way I like it. Oh my god, he's coming around the corner. Oh, baseball fight. I gotta get out of here. I'm crouching. That's why I'm so fucking. Oh, now you've got some celerity going on. Bam! You lost. Okay, now celerity is like owning, man. Can't do shit. Oh, nice kick, dude. see the bullets flying through the air. That is actually really, really cool. Killed you all. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, celerity is really cool now. That is actually really, really cool. Okay, so we owned them. Um, now we have to go upstairs. I hope this is actually the place I have to go. No, we don't have to go upstairs. There is no way to go upstairs. Do we go into the right place? Did we? It doesn't seem like it. But I don't know, it could be. Why is there like a... Oh, look at that. I'm so dumb. How do you... How do you get in there? How does that work? Like jump. <laughs> what the hell? 
Well, how the hell is that gonna work? Okay, it does work. Okay, I don't know if I'm at the right place. I don't know where the hell I am, actually. Can you please let me go? Hey, where the hell am I? Oh, look at that. Okay. Should we go for a uh, awesome crossbow bolt? Oh, look at those bullets. Oh, missed it. Ah! Sucking really bad again. Oh my god. Oh god. And I didn't save. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so bad in this game. Alright. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Um. Where was that parking thing? Really have to get better at the combat. I suck so much at that. Um, but maybe I'm fooling around too much, maybe. Maybe I should just use this gun and just own them. Because I'm like switching guns all the time and then I get hit and then all my buffs run out. It's like could be doing this like so much better. How do you, I don't even know if this is the place I have to go, but let's see about that. Scratch my neck, my neck beard. Hello. Look, he's coughing. Okay, should we do it? Okay. Just hit all my shots except two, I think. Look, look how fast I reload with celerity, and that's ridiculous. Okay, I think I got them all. That went uh, quite smooth. Gonna save. Thug says, Goo, ooh, uh, oh. oh my god. Feels pretty cool to dodge bullets. Stop hiding. Okay, we can actually go down here, I guess. We don't have to go through the vent. Oh my god. Get the fuck away from me. Let's take cover. Stop slicing at me. Oh my god, these guys suck ass. 
that Mac 10 hurts like shit. Oh, I got those. Okay, I gotta, gotta, gotta get away from here. Gotta go snipe. Am I hitting them? Probably not. Oh, that sucks ass. Okay. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like this. Uh, I gotta get some more health. Uh, or blood. Whatever you wanna call it. Damn it. Damn automatic weapons. Just ban them already. Police officer is of course doing nothing. No, a masquerade violation. Okay, I gotta find somebody to drain. Maybe him. <laughs> Looks good. <coughs> that was close. I need some more. Oh, I don't wanna suck the bum. Is there anything else here? Bums, oh, that guy. Hello. God, there are a lot of people standing around here. But it seems to work. All right, we did it. Let's go back. Let's go back. I hope they didn't respawn. Sorry, dude. God bless you. So, where was that entrance? I think it was here, and right? Yeah. Hello, officer. I'm gonna save, just to be sure. And then we're gonna uh, celerity their asses. Not with the crossbow. I'm gonna get you back for everything you did. There they are. Assholes. Haha. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Oh, there are a lot of people down there. I wonder if we could just use celerity to like get around people. We, can't. we can just use celerity and like kick their ass really fast. All right, that worked. Oh yeah, that's nice. Anything to loot out of there? No. Uh, house packs. Okay, there's one behind the corner. Let's use celerity. Oh, dodged your bullets. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's using Kung Fu tricks on me. Okay, there are a lot more down there. We don't care because... Let's see if we can... Um, Uh, if you can suck some more on these dudes, because they don't seem to be seeing me, which is weird. They probably see me now. That didn't work. Oh, I gotta get away from here. Oh, this is not good. This is not good.
Holy shit, where did they come from? Oh, I need to heal. The celerity. <laughs> Okay, gotta go long range. Oh, I want to kill at least one of them. Fuck. Oh, those are a lot of people. A lot of them. So I guess um, I will have to use... I won't have to use anything, I just have to play better. Wish they weren't working in pairs, so I could, um... You know, maybe execute one of them by... Sucking. Okay. You already have this weapon, I do. Uh, let's use Auspex. Okay, let's do the same tactic as before. Let's suck him. Kill him. Let's try to do the same thing with the next, if he hasn't already discovered what he does. Oh my god. How did... Oh, it did hit him, but I didn't see any damage. Okay, I wonder if he turns... If he turns white, he probably turn around, and then we can... Oh, no, he's coming around the corner. Nice. Anybody else here? Hey, oh, there's one more. Well, that's like a one-shot with, with uh, celerity. So I guess we have to use that more often. Ozpax is actually quite nice. Okay, that hit him, but didn't kill him. Not kill him. Okay, one shot, two shot. Probably depends if I hit him in the head or not. Okay, next door. Save the game. Okay, they are blue now. That probably means they're like here, but they haven't seen me yet. Oh, how did that bullet hit me? That like went around the fucking corner. Nice, he's dead. Reload! Oh, nice, in the head. One more. Oh, nice. You missed, asshole. Can I kill him? Yeah. Now nah, you're the last one, and you're dead. Good job. Good job, Alex. Very good job. Need some blood. Okay, he's aware. Let's just kill him. <sighs> Hits. Oh my god, where are you? Oh, that sucks. Hit the damn wall. Okay, now I'm really running low on blood. Oh, that was a nice. At least our health is good. Okay.
Okay. The next guy, we definitely need to um, uh, suck. We're not gonna. S yeah, we need blood. We're not gonna survive one more of this. Oh shit. Oh, that sucks ass. Okay, it works. Whew, very nice. Thanks for shooting him. God, sorry, I'm not talking. It's just this thing is really. Oh my God, he has. He's got the suitcase. Give me that. Give me the suitcase. Okay. Are they shooting each other? Oh, they're like two gangs, right? So they would. Is he trying to escape? Are you trying to escape with the suitcase? Okay, everything's working out really, really nicely. He's got nice blood. Okay. Celerity. There you go. <laughs> oh, carnage. This is absolute carnage. Okay, they have the suitcases, but can we actually pick them up? Town. Yeah, okay. Acquire briefcase. Oh, there we go. Item gained a briefcase. I think we're done here. Which is awesome. Didn't work out really good in the beginning, but later on, we're doing really, really good. Got one experience point for that, which is not very much. And we spilled a lot of blood. A lot. Let's see <coughs> what the guy has to offer now. Because he said he would give us like a special discount and uh, some more stuff to buy. Uh, at least that's what I think he said. I have a, what, what's wrong with my throat? <coughs> okay, better now. I'm walking up the stairs. So celerity is just crazy, crazy awesome now. That speed enhancement, that is really, really powerful. Like, in the beginning I thought, I was like, okay, what does this skill actually do? It just changes the colors on the screen a little bit and the sound effects, but it didn't really do anything. But now you feel like Matrix, you feel like Neo. time to put away the weapon. Okay. Almost made it. We're back. And we killed like half of the gang population in this town. Um. Okay. Well, let's talk to the guy and then uh, we can actually, I guess, finish this part.
Uh, do they hate me now and they're gonna try to shoot me? Killed all of your guys. Okay. Hello, Shaq. Got the briefcase. Outstanding! Pass it over here, partner. Yeah, that's beautiful. Everything looks in order. <laughs> Somebody somewhere got to be pissed off by losing this. <laughs> Too bad I sent my man right here after. All right. Let me peel off a few bills for you. I'll just drop this off to the new owner in the morning. Then I'm gonna give me a big old steak. Not that domestic stuff neither. I'm gonna order up 32 ounces of Kobe beef, the expensive shit. You won't come? My treat. I'll have to pass. Okay, let's see if he has anything I need to offer. Dinosaur eggs. He doesn't have anything to offer. What the hell? He's got the same shit. He didn't even get a fucking discount. Are you kidding me? Larry, that's not part of our agreement. Oh, what the hell? I'm not amused about this. Hmm. Should we get that? Yeah, why not? Let's get that. Can we, where is it? Can we put it on? There we go. So now we look different. My man, what is up? Can we sell the old, old stuff? We can't sell. Do we look different? Oh, I think we do. Cool. Still look pretty early 90s, but we look better. <laughs> okay. So let's get our quests. Uh, okay, next up, Hollywood. And maybe that's where we find the Lucky Star Motel. Alright, so let's end the part here. I'll see you guys in the next part. Uh, where we travel to? Hollywood. Woohoo. Okay, goodbye.